What you got? Here we go. We're getting ready to go into the woods. Yep. Here we go. The intensive. Um, man, I'm available. I love Raylan. He is my sensei. <laughs> and uh, I'm excited to, uh, I'm really just ready for more God encounter, more Holy Spirit time and communion and understanding, building that relationship. What you got? Man, um, yeah, ready to go out through the woods, a little tired, a little hungry, mm. ready to soak up what God has for me in this experience. How long have we fast? We've already fasted what? How long? It's probably 36 hours or so, I think. It's getting there. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm excited to, uh, to actually do some, uh, do some walking, do some walking in my soul, do some walking in the woods. I've been looking forward to it for a while now, so I've been longing for it. Here we go. Just thinking on what God's got for me, praying for revelation, something so hardcore that I can't, I can't doubt it. Something that's 100% real. Something that reaches me to my core. Something that gets past all the counterfeit means and reaches me to my heart. My intention is to know the real me behind all the counterfeits, behind all the other masks. I'm gonna step into what God has for me. I'm gonna step into this walk. It's a little bit of walk. We did most of it barefoot. My feet hate me right now, but it's good. It's all good. So the intention that I took on my walk is to find out who the real Daniel is. It's pretty sad that at 42 years old, I still don't know who I am. Like, the person that God put on this planet to be. So that's my intention for this 48, 50 something hour fast that we're doing. Right Coming out here to the woods, and spending the week with Ray and Sean and Mark, like amazing stuff going on right now, like in all of these dark areas of our life. And it's pretty crazy that it takes takes some of that stuff to happen for you to have those real moments of self discovery. While I was walking barefoot, you realize how much more intentional your steps are. When you don't have something to protect your feet. You know, I'm pretty sure I mauled my feet pretty good, but um, it was pretty, it was just crazy. Crazy to even to walk more than a mile barefoot in the woods, like <laughs> granite rocks, like all kinds of stuff on those trails. Bro. It was just crazy. And then the last thing that I got from that whole thing was being the now. I was just enjoying that moment. It was pretty awesome. So noticing, knowing that I'm not a quitter. I was like, so I was like, I'm not coming off the trail barefoot. Like I'm not walking in the bare woods barefoot and walked all the way to camp. My mind is more resilient than I've given it credit for. There was a couple times when we were out there like that we would kind of get a little bunched up and Raylan would check in and just be like, hey, you good. It's like, you're grunting. I want to make sure you're not angry. And I was like, no, no, bro, I'm not angry. I'm just here. Like, I was, I was honestly walking doing the Rakshazat Amats. Rakshazat Amats. Because I really wanted some of that confidence. Godfidence, bro. Godfidence is such a dope word need some of that God for this, like, and then relational, there isn't a more important relationship than the one that you have with Christ Jesus, like, everything goes from there, you love God, if you love Jesus, you're gonna love your friends better, you're gonna love your family better, you're gonna love your kids better, you're gonna love yourself better, so my declaration statement for this trip this little walkabout that we went on was know my body's limitations knowing my mind is more resilient than i've given it credit for know that my emotions were made for me to feel the moment know that my spirit is stronger today than yesterday know 
that the relationship with God is the most important relationship there is. Know thyself the way that God knows me. It's easy to sing when there's nothing to bring me down. But what will I sing when I'm held to the flame like I am right now? So I'm driving home from an unintentional intensive. God is so good. God is so good. 50, seven hour fast, 15 hours, the last 15 hours of that in the woods, all of the whole experience. And then we were alone, but we were also together. You know, which made it just that much more impactful. Just knowing what the other guys are going through and just, it's really, it's really deep stuff. You know, like I really, I really didn't have much to speak into anybody over the last few days. I was just taking it all in, breathing. Before I said anything, like I said, that's bro, that's my new operating system. Before a word comes out of my mouth, breathe, take it in. The right words will come. The fast experience. I mean, it was pretty crazy for my first official fast to jump into it not even knowing that I was going to get into it. How many times do we get into spiritual battles without really even knowing that it's coming? Not even knowing that it's right around the corner. I mean, you train differently when you know that something's coming. You, like, train up to do these things. You know, the intensity increases. You, you do a lot of things. And, like, you become a lot more intentional about the things that you do when you know that something is coming. And there have there was times along those two and plus days that I felt hungry for a moment. But the moment was gone just like that. And I, I just, bro, I was full. I was full. I am full. I am full. In the last part, that trip, the 15, 16 hours in the woods, I really felt like we could have stayed there for as long as we wanted, bro. Bro, there was moments when we were walking out there that I was praising God, bro, hands up in the air. I haven't ever done that in church. I've never done that with music playing and feeling that music, and I never, ever done that. I felt closer to God walking on gravel and sand spurs with bare feet an unknown distance than, than I felt in a pew ever. Ever. Bro. And then the walk back where after we jumped in the river like my whole body felt warm and I felt weightless. And that weightlessness is the first time that I've felt that in a long time, bro. Like it wasn't just a physical weightlessness. There was a emotional, spiritual weightlessness. There was a weightlessness of my mind, bro. My mind is so heavy sometimes. It just uh, feel like it's going to take me to the bottom, bro. It's going to take me to the bottom. 
and everything was completely worthless. And my mind, and my spirit kept this battle ping-ponging back and forth the whole walk back, like, you should put your shoes on. And then I would, like, try to compromise with my mind and say, okay, right after that bend. And we would get to that bend, and it's like, you should put your shoes on. I'm like, all right, no, after the next bend, you should put your shoes on. Okay, when we get close to camp, you should put your shoes on. All right, when we get to the part of camp that we got to walk through the actual woods, I'll put my shoes on. And then I get all the way to camp with my shoes off. And I stand there for a moment. And it's like, just don't leave this place. Don't be in a hurry to leave this place. And then digging sifting through the thoughts and the talking and like everything that just went on for the last couple of days bro rock shaza box bro like I've been praying for some God for this man to work that is diminishing yeah 100% so as they, as that diminishes, and they've been a user, but not a creator of relationships, a user of those things, everything that falls apart, like all those abilities will be gone. But to connect and build relationships, you can do that until the day you literally die. 